Hey you guys, your girl Beauty with Mika and I am here to do a living in coral collab video. This is with some of my favorite sisters here on YouTube. Shout out to my sister Nisi Beauty who decided to get all of these beautiful women together and ask us to do the living Pantone color of the year which is coral for those of you that don't know. Now you know some of us are afraid of color but we do love it and it looks so beautiful on us. So I did a quick get ready with me showing you guys how I use coral for the summer using two palettes. The first one is the Huda Beauty palette. This one is the Coral Obsession you guys can get this for $27 at Sephora and the other one is the Colourpop Yes Please palette. You guys can get this on the Colourpop website and I've seen that it's even sold at Ulta. So I do love these palettes. Shout out to my girl because I will be rocking this color very very more for the summer. So I did use colors from this palette along with colors from this one. Now I don't have a lot of coral I'm not gonna lie to you guys but when I've seen the living Pantone and the collection itself, I was like, oh yeah, I could do something like that. Now it makes me want to get a pop of color lip because I don't have any orange lip, but I did do a neutral combo lip for this look. I kept it very subtle and kept it all about the eyes. So I way my eyes could be popping for the summer. And then of course I did some highlighting. Um, other than that, it was a very, very simple go-to look. You can use one palette if you guys want to. I just chose to use two just to give myself a challenge. Other than that, don't forget to sit there and watch everyone else's videos down below because you never know if they're going to do something with their eyes, their lip, or their entire face using the theme Pantone color, Collection Color Coral. Don't forget to shout out everyone in down the video and put hashtag Living Coral. Other than that, I will talk to you guys soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye. palettes that I will be using is the Colourpop Yes Please palette for this look because it is about all about corals and you guys love to see me in a pop of color. So that's what this looks like. I did get this when Colourpop had a sale. So this is the Yes Please palette. Another palette that I wanted to incorporate is the Huda Beauty Coral. Um, I don't have a coral lipstick you guys which is so crazy to me. So I'm going to do a nude lip, but I am going to use these two palettes in conjunction for this collab. I think this is a very cute collab. I love it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I did go ahead and you guys seen I based and primed and did all that good stuff. I'm going to just, yeah, that works better. I had to tilt you guys up a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Um, I love these impromptus. So what I'm going to do is take my... Sephora no this is my MAC 224 brush this is a really good blending brush and I'm just going to go take note to self which is this right here and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid and let me zoom you guys in so I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here and just apply it all over the lid and I don't have any technique to applying all over the lid but just to give you guys an idea just just to set it because I did go ahead and apply the Fenty Beauty eye primer on the eye and then you guys see I took the foundation and the color corrector so because I realized that my lids get oily sometimes I need to set it so for the crease shade I'm going to probably 
I'm gonna go in with this color from the Huda Beauty collection and I'm gonna apply this to my crease. Now I do have a a hooded lid so I bring the color above my actual crease shade so you could actually see the color pop so see now see the hood but when I go like this you can see it so and as you can see I bring it just a tad bit up to the brow bone just because of that because I have a slight hood and it's just a technique that I've learned and I play with so that is that color right there now I want this color to pop when I tell you guys because I don't do pops of color so much I'm going to make it pop so what I'm gonna do is apply this shade right here this is Jean Gino so I'm gonna apply that onto the lid and I'm going to use my Sephora Pro shadow brush this is a very old one from them but this is so like it packs it on this is a very matte, matte shade. That is so pretty. Okay, because this is so matte on the eyes, I am going to just take a clean fluffy brush. This is from SML Glam. 